Hello guys, uh, welcome back to Mason African Motives. Uh, still working on our electro techniques and for revisions, uh, we shall be focusing on the transformers in this case from the question paper of June 2022. Uh, we are given the following data uh, about a single phase transformer is known. So this is the information on our single phase transformer. In this case, we've got uh, the primary voltage of uh, 250 volts, that is our V1 in this case, 250 volts. Uh, the supply frequency in this case, which is given as uh, 50 hertz and the maximum flux density in the core tech note, we are given uh, the maximum flux density of 1.66 Tesla uh, and the net core area. This is the area for the core, the one that plays around with what the maximum flux density. So we are given the area for the core as 0, 0.035. So that is 0, 0.035 square meters. So this is for the core in this case, all right? Then we have the diameter of the primary conductor. We are now talking about the conductor in this case. We've got the diameter of the conductor, 2.5. Uh, millimeters in this case. So this is 2.5 millimeters. Then the current density of conductor. So the current density uh, for the conductor in this case. So this is our current density of the conductor that is given as four amps per square millimeter. Take note, four amps per square millimeter, meaning to say we can obtain the current from there as long we are dealing with the conductor. So this is the information about the conductor. Now we are talking about the conductor this time. So we are simply saying uh, the current can be calculated from the area. If we have our area in square millimeters, but they are saying per square millimeter, that is a current per area. So you simply multiply current times area. All right, but that was not our question here. Calculate the following, the number of primary tens we're supposed to calculate the number of primary tens in this case. All right. If we are to take into consideration, a, we do not have a corresponding part. We've got a voltage and the number of tens. So the part that we can think about is uh, working from our EMF equation. Uh, the EMF equation, actually, it carries a lot there. Let us think about that, whereby we know that the EMF is given as 4,44. Uh, times the frequency, in this case, times uh, the maximum flux. So here we are supposed to have the maximum flux times the number of tens. Here we have got the primary voltage. So meaning to say, if we use the primary voltage, the number of tens that are corresponding are from the primary. So meaning to say, we can calculate the primary tens. Having uh, the voltage, the frequency, but we do not have the maximum flux. We are given the maximum flux density for the core, not the maximum flux. So meaning to say we are going to calculate from the core in this case, all right? So from the core, we are going to calculate our maximum flux in this case. So calculate uh, maximum uh, flux in this case from what? From the core. So that means from the core, what are we given? We are given uh, the flux density, and we also have the area at the core in this case. And we know that, uh, remember, our flux density is given as flux over area. So if you want flux, you can simply cross multiply. That's uh, flux is equal to BA in this case, which is measured uh, in Weber's. So we are talking about the maximum flux. It must correspond, the maximum flux must correspond to the maximum flux density. So that's why we are given the maximum flux density in this case. So we are simply going to calculate our maximum flux as the maximum flux density of 1,66 times the area. This area is from the core, not the area that we use from this diameter. This is the, for, the diameter is for the conductor. You use the area from the core because this is the flux density of the core also. So we are given the area there already in square meters, 0, 0,0. Uh, three, five square meters. So that is going to give us uh, the maximum flux in this case, which is, uh, uh, we are going to obtain something like uh, 0, 0,0581 uh, web bus in this case. All right, so having 
our maximum flux density here, it means we can uh, be able to calculate any one. So we're gonna divide uh, everything by this part, 4,441 times flux, uh, times frequency times maximum flux, the same 4,44 times frequency times maximum flux so that here we remain with the N1. So the expression for the number of turns on the primary in actual sense was supposed to be given as E1 over, that is going to be 4,44 times the frequency times the maximum flux. And we determined uh, we have everything in this case E, that is the voltage on the primary, given as a 250 volts in this case. So we've got the voltage on the primary given as a 250 volts, everything over 4,44 times the frequency. So what is our frequency? Our frequency here is 50 hertz. So we are given the frequency there of uh, 50 hertz in this case times the maximum flux, the one that we calculated from our maximum uh, flux density we have, the maximum flux in this case. So we are going to use our maximum flux of 0 0.0581. So that is the value that we are going to substitute here. Uh, remember that was uh, 0 0.0581 in this case. All right. So this is going to give us the number of tens, which is going to be 19,3825 uh, in this case. So it simply means we have completed 19 tens. So we are now uh, having another round of uh, that's going to happen. So approximately this is going to approximate to 20 tens because already we have completed 19 full tens. So this one, it's a piece that is remaining on, on the number of tens that are happening. So it will approximate to 20 tens. You do not round off like to the nearest one number where you're saying it's gonna be a 19 or you completed 19, you are at a fraction of another 10. So it's considered there. So it's gonna just approximate to, to 20 in this case. All right, so that was our question, the number of tens. Then the rating of the transformer. All right, what is going to be the rating of the transformer? We are talking about a single phase in this case. So the rating of the transformer was supposed to be taken from voltage times current. That is uh, what we know in this case about a rating of the transformer in a, in a single phase. We are supposed to have this uh, from apparent power. So the rating of a transformer or the rating of the transformer in this case. It was supposed to be taken from what? It was supposed to be taken from the apparent power. We are supposed to work with the apparent power. This is the one that gives us the rating of a transformer where apparent power S is equal to voltage times current in this case. So if we are to use this, uh, we have the voltage. Yes, the voltage is there. We take into consideration V1, we talked about E1250, but we do not have the current now. The current, where are we going to have it? We go back to that statement where we are told where we are told about uh, uh, the current density of the conductor. It's four amps per square millimeter. Square amps per square millimeter, meaning to say per area in square millimeters of what from the diameter of the conductor. We are no longer using or talking about the core here. We used the area of the core because you're talking about flux density. It's affected by the core. But this time we are working from the conductor in this case, from the conductor. So from the conductor, what are we given? We are given the diameter and we want to calculate the current and we are given. So our current is going to be four amps times the area because it's per area, per area, per each, per each, square millimeter, we have got four amps. So for the area that you are going to have, you multiply to that area, but this area is supposed to be in square millimeters. That's what they are saying here. So simply we are going to calculate the area and we know that our area is calculated from pi d squared over, over four. So meaning to say here, we are going to simply substitute our current is going to be four times the area, which is pi d squared. So it's going to be pi times d our diameter in millimeters so that we obtain area in square millimeters. We are going to use the diameter in millimeters, which is 2,5 uh, 
uh, squared, that's d squared over over four in this case. All right, so this was going to give us uh, the current in this case of which we're going to obtain uh, 19 comma 635 amps. So we have the current that is uh, our primary current. So with the current now, we are simply going to multiply, like I said, the rating of the transformer, simply voltage times current. So meaning to say our rating in this case was going to be from our apparent power voltage. Remember our voltage is 250. So we've got 250 at the supply uh, times the current at the supply, which is uh, 19,635. All right, so this is going to give us the rating of a transformer that is going to be 4908,75 in volt amperes in this case, all right? So the units is supposed to be volt amperes in this case. All right, so that was a play around as you can see. Uh, if you are dealing with transformers, guys, just know your basics and your basics uh, of your calculations uh, and also how to relate uh, information that you are given, how to relate. Do not confuse an information for a core and the one for a conductor. And also to understand these terms, like uh, whatever that you are given per this, it simply means that current per area, the units, if you are given, per millimeter, it means current per length. So you work with the length, you don't work with area, but per square, square units, meaning to say our current is related to area, but dealing with the conductor, then uh, that's it. As you can see, we just need to play around as uh, much as we can on our revisions, do as much question papers as we are preparing for the exams.